Welcome to Web Handling. My name is Dave Roysom. In this video, we show how to calibrate a dancer and why you should. We should all regularly calibrate all of our load cells by stringing a weighted rope or a strap through the local web run. And most of us do. So why not also calibrate dancers? We have the same process control needs. That is, to consistently reproduce the most important web control across time and space. By this, I mean that a good run can be made more repeatable, day in and day out, and from one machine to another, and from one plant to another. In fact, calibrating dances is actually easier than calibrating load cells. It is easier by both calculation and procedure. So why not calibrate dancers too? It's a simple answer, because Grandpa didn't. It is simply a cultural artifact that has kept many machine builders and many plants stuck in the Stone Ages. So what does calibration mean? It means that we have a curve of web tension versus dancer pressure. This can be achieved in one of two ways. First, the designer should calculate the zero and gain based on roller, arm, and cylinder geometries. This is easier than the counterpart of calculating load cell outputs and is in either case needed for proper system sizing. The second method can and should be done by design engineer, service engineer, and plant engineer alike. That is to check the designer calculated calibration curve. This is simple. We just vary the dancer cylinder pressure and then measure the force with a suitably sized force gauge or scale oriented in the web tension direction. Remember to divide by two for the typical case of 180 degrees of wrap. At least three widely spaced points should be obtained and they should fall close to the calculated curve. Your dancer and cylinder may vary from what is shown in the picture. However, it should be apparent how to adopt this procedure to your specific situation. The gold standard of piping for most any cylinder is dual piping. One side is called fixed and the other is called control. The so-called fixed side is adjustable, but it is adjusted by a service engineer per procedure written by the design engineer. The usual motive is to compensate for gravity. In this case, roller and arm weight are compensated by rod side pressure. This has two advantages. The first is that the zero on the control side results in zero in web handling because we have countered weight. The second is even more useful. That is, we can make better use of the limited pressure range available by not using up the control side by merely lifting weight. Thank you so very much for watching this module in my plant practical series. Please stay tuned for more dancer and other web handling topics.